friends, we have been invited here to share with Zach and Kayla in a most important time in their lives. In the time they have been together, their love for and understanding of each other has grown and matured, and now they have decided to live their lives together as husband and wife. Kayla, ever since our first date, you've never ceased to amaze me. I never thought it was possible for someone to love, for someone to be even half as kind-hearted and loving as you are. You're truly beautiful inside and out. It did not take long for me to realize that you were the one for me, and I know that I'm the luckiest guy in the world to be able to call you my wife. More importantly, I admire your relationship with God, and I look forward to continuing to grow in our faith together. I'm so excited to begin this next chapter of my life with you. I look forward to many adventures to come. Thank you for always supporting and encouraging me and for loving me in a way that I never thought possible. I wish I could somehow just explain to you just how grateful I am to have you by my side, but the best that I can come up with is simply that you are the best. I love you, Kayla. <laughs> We began our relationship in what was the most uncertain time of my life. I had no job, the world was on lockdown, and I had no real plans for tomorrow. When I think of you, I think of this joyful, kind, and caring man that I love more every single day. Thank you for allowing me to be your confidant. Today, I vow that in our marriage, I will chase after God. Doing so will align my heart to be the best person and wife that I can be, modeling our love after Christ, selfless, compassionate, and steadfast. I vow to be understanding of your perspective and admit when I'm wrong. I vow to not break your fishing poles on purpose. As to if I do it on purpose or on accident, we will have to leave that at the hands and feet of Jesus. This life and this world have so many uncertainties. We can expect not to know where to turn, but I cannot wait to fumble through this life with you, to better our marriage and our idea of a routine, to choose each other every day when life is uncomfortable and even unbearable. You are it for me. You're the best. I loved you yesterday, I love you today, and I promise to love you every single day from now until eternity. For better or worse, through sickness and in health, through faith and through questions, till we arrive on the shore of heaven, you are mine and I am yours. What do you think? Good? <laughs> Zach, God ordained the man as the spiritual head and as the responsible provider in this human relationship. By his enablement, your strength must be your wife's protection, your character her boast and pride, and you must so live that she will find in you the haven for which the heart of a woman truly longs. Kayla, it's God's purpose that you be a loving wife, that you respond to your husband's love and tenderness with a deep sense of understanding through a great faith in Christ who brought you together. It is his desire that you have the inner beauty of soul that never fades, that eternal youth that is found in holding fast those things that never age. is forged by your love for one another and your shared love of Jesus. You have both discovered that your satisfaction and your contentment come from Christ and your relationship with Him. Because of that, your relationship with each other is a shining reflection of Christ's relationship with His people. Your marriage to each other will be a witness to everyone in your circle of influences that the best marriages have Christ at the very center. Zach, you may now kiss your bride. Pleasure to be the first to introduce to you 
Mr. and Mrs. Zach and Kayla Fisher. You guys have been two of my best friends for a while now, and even more like family. I wish you guys the best in life because no one deserves it more. Cheers to you. When Zach had a very unique start to their relationship, the day had finally come and they went on their first date. It went so well that it lasted 14 hours. And I know this because I started tracking her at hour nine because I got worried. <laughs> they quickly moved from the first date to meeting myself and my parents over a bonfire in our backyard to being inseparable. When I think of their love, a verse comes to mind. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Kayla, today is your wedding day. The day that I know you have dreamed about your whole life, but I have as well. I wasn't much myself dream of my wedding day kind of person. But for some reason, I often thought about what Kayla's wedding day would be like. Kayla is kind, thoughtful, caring, ambitious, independent, and embodies joy in everything she does. She has an infectious personality, is the kind of friend that you want to have for a lifetime. Zach, a word of advice when things get tough. Sometimes a girl just needs a pink fluffy robe, some mac and cheese, and a jar of olives. Here's to always thinking that you're the best. Cheers to the bride and groom.